Let somebody shout hallelujah. Our God is good. And I give God the glory for another day in this uh, ongoing fasting and prayer. Today make me to be uh, day 21 in the 50 days fasting and prayer. I give God the glory for the life of our father in the Lord, Pastor Yadikwe, and our mother in Israel, Mommy Fuda Adikwe, for the way God has been using them. And I thank God for the way our daddy have instructed us that 50 days of fasting and prayer should take place. And I bless the name of the Lord since the beginning, day one of this fasting and prayer, God has been so faithful. He said he will renew our strength. He has been helping us. I say, may his name be praised. Father, I give you all the glory and adoration. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for our time. Thank you for what you have been doing here. I say, may your name be praised, Lord. Daddy, even as we go into today's uh, prayer, in this ongoing fasting and prayer, day 21, Daddy, glorify yourself. Let your name be praised. Baba, you said in your word that we do not know how to pray. It is the spirit of the Lord that cry with zeal in us and say, Abba, Father. Abba, Father, please teach us how to pray. Thank you because you are the Lord. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord, somebody. Uh, today being day 21, our prayer being specialized on the peace of Jerusalem. Peace of Jerusalem. And the Bible made us to understand in Psalm 122, 6 to 8. It said we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And those that love it will prosper. Let's look at that Bible verse. Psalm 122. Let's see what God is saying there, or what the Bible is saying. Psalm 122, Psalm 122, 6 to 8. Psalm 122, 6 to 8. He's telling us about something good that we need to be doing. 6 to 8. He said, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy will, thy world, and prosperity within thy places. For my brethren are compared, said I will not say peace be with thee. Then uh, that's to hate. He's telling us we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And uh, as we all know, when we do this, if we have people that can pray, we have God that can answer. He's always near, he's always by our side to listen to what we want to say. And uh, introduction under today's uh, Bible, under today's uh, prayer meeting, that's the day 21, the Bible in Psalm 122, verse 6, commanded us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Moreover, we know that it's for our own good. If we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, it's for our own good, whether we like it or not. Because whatever happened in Jerusalem, radiate across the whole world. What's all ever happened there? It goes around the whole world. So, brethren, join me as we pray today for the peace of Jerusalem and God that you are calling day and night will answer us by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go ahead with this prayer. Prayer number one Say, Lord, we thank you for your present peace in Jerusalem. Daddy, we thank you for your present peace. You always be there. That even when things are not going far, you are there. Baba will worship you because you told us in your word that in everything we should give thanks. We say, May your name be highly exalted. Thank you because your presence is always in Jerusalem. We say, May your name be praised, Lord. Thank you, ancient of today. We thank you because you will not leave your people alone. We thank you because your peace will continue to reign in Jerusalem. We say, May your name be praised, Lord. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Prayer number two, they say, Lord, arise. And have mercy, have mercy upon your city, Jerusalem. You know, Jerusalem happened to be the city of God. Let us pray, Father, please have mercy upon your city called Jerusalem. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, please have mercy. Daddy, please have mercy in any sin, any sin at all that your people might have committed. In anything that have made your anger to be upon your people. Daddy, please have mercy. Daddy, please have mercy. Daddy, please have mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for your mercy, Lord, upon Jerusalem. It is your city. Daddy, please have mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Prayer number three there says, Lord, by your Holy Spirit, convert all the people of Jerusalem of their sin 
and give them the grace to repent so they can find through and forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, we pray for your people in Jerusalem. Daddy, every of their sins, Daddy, please forgive them. Forgive them. And Daddy, by your mercy and by your grace, let them turn again. Let them be repaired from, 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 from their sin. Because the Bible makes us understand if my people are called by my name, can open themselves and pray and forsake their wicked way. You said you will hear from everyone, you will heal our land. Daddy, we pray for your people in Jerusalem. They are your people, Lord. Daddy, please. The, 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 the art of repentance that the please give to their Lord. Let them turn from their evil way and look unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, by this law, let them find truth and forgiveness in you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because you have answered. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Our prayer number four said, Lord, we pray against violence in your city, Jerusalem, in the mighty name of Jesus. Any form of violence from any angle, from any side, daddy, please, you pray, daddy, let it end, let it end, let it end, in the mighty name of Jesus, everything that is causing violence, daddy, please, let our hand come to it, because you are the Lord, let our hand come to it, in the mighty name of Jesus, my father, my father, please, Lord, everything that is causing violence, but by pray, let our hand come to it, in the mighty name of Jesus, let our hand come to it, in the mighty name of Jesus, glorify yourself, Lord, in the city Jerusalem in the mighty name of Jesus thank you because you are the Lord for in Jesus name we are praying prayer number five they said Lord okay number six now they said oh God continue to raise up men and women who in the mission field in Jerusalem in Israel daddy we need to pray this prayer that God should raise men and women that will be in mission field that will be preaching the word of the Lord to the people there in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, you are the only one that can do this. You say they will not come unless you draw them. My father, my God, raise men, raise women. Oh, that will be mission field. That we do the work. That we move around the, 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 every location in Jerusalem. That we go to every village, every town and preach the gospel. And preach the gospel of the truth. Daddy, raise them up by your power. Raise them up by your power. Power. In the mighty name of Jesus, men, women that would leave everything and follow you and preach your word, that they raise their hope. In the mighty name of Jesus, Baba raise their hope. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your name be glorified. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Prayer number seven. Prayer number seven says, Father, let the government of Israel support the spread of the gospel. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let the government of Israel, let them support, let them support the spread of the gospel all over Jerusalem. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, Lord, as many that are in the government of, in, in, in Israel, that give them the courage, give them the power, give them the ability for them to allow gospel to spread all about. In the mighty name of Jesus. For them to allow gospel to move around the city, to move around the town, to move around the villages. In the mighty name of Jesus. That in the government of the day in Israel, we pray, Lord, put in their mind, Lord, because the art of king are in your hand. My Father, my God, put in their heart. Let them allow gospel to spread abroad in Israel, in Jerusalem, in every look and corner here. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Let your name be glorified. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Prayer number eight said, Lord, all global and nation against Jerusalem be destroyed by the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that are rising against the movement of gospel, against the, 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 the good thing that the Lord wants to do in Jerusalem, against the plan, the real plan of God in Jerusalem, by your power, terminate them, terminate them, terminate them, terminate them, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Bible says, they will surely gather, that they are praying, Lord, terminate all their plan, all their conclusion, that they terminate it, by your power, terminate it, every evil plan, every evil agent, that the Lord, they have a gang up against Jerusalem and say things will not go fine and say gospel will not move fine. Daddy, I pray, Lord, terminate their plan, terminate their plan in the mighty name of Jesus. Terminate their plan in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your name be praised, Lord. Thank you because you are the Lord. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Prayer number nine made us to understand. They said, 
Lord, send your peace to the Middle East in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, we pray that your peace will be Middle East in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, we pray for your peace in Middle East. Peace, let it be in Middle East in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your peace, let it reign in Middle East in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because of the Lord, for in Jesus' name we are praying. Number 10, say, O oh Lord, let your love and, and peace reign among the Arabians and the Jews in the mighty name of Jesus. They, they are living in Israel. The Arabians and the Jews, they are living in Israel. Father, we pray, Lord, that your love will abide there together. Not only that your peace will reign, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your love abide there together. Let your peace reign among them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that is causing misunderstanding, everything that is causing distrust, that is among them, let him see, let him see, let him see, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Thank you because of answer in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are free. Prayer number 11 says, All the disturbing peace, all the people that are disturbing peace in, 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 as enemy in Jerusalem, they, 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 they told us that we should pray that God should cancel all their hate and all their plans, that we, the blood of Jesus should wipe it away in the mighty name of Jesus. All the people that are causing destruction, destruction in Jerusalem, Baba, or anything they are using, that they to, to, to gain power, Baba, I pray through the blood of Jesus, let it be cancelled, let it be cancelled, let it be cancelled, maybe which is wizard, through the blood of Jesus, let it be cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything they are using, you know, that need to, to, to make war against your people, let the blood of Jesus cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are free. Then number 12 says, Daddy, let your perfect plan come to pass in Jerusalem in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your perfect plan come to pass in Jerusalem. Your perfect plan, your perfect plan, that he let it come to pass in Jerusalem in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because of answer. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Number 13 says, Lord, let every internal and external power Daddy, let them be frustrated that are disturbing the, the, the real truth, the power of the Lord to walk, to move in Jerusalem. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Internal and outside power. Daddy, Lord, that have causing problems. Daddy, let their power cease. Let a, a, a hand come to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Number 14 says, let, Lord, let every anti-gospel agent in Jerusalem Fade away in the mighty name of Jesus. Anti gospel in Jerusalem. I pray. Fade away in the mighty name of Jesus. Fade away in the mighty name of Jesus. Anti gospel in Jerusalem. Fade away in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. The last prayer point for today. Lord, let every ancient strong, oh, and ignorance about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let them be terminated in the mighty name of Jesus. All this evil, 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 evil message that people have been passing in Jerusalem that Jesus will not come back. That the Lord let all their power, let all their hate, let it be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Bible makes us understand that Jesus that we see that as the way he go is going to happen, he will come back the same way. Father Lord, but people have been have, have been saying such will not come to pass. But I pray every antagonist of the gospel. In, in, in Jerusalem, let our hands come to them. Let them begin to know the truth that yes, the Lord Jesus Christ will come back again in the mighty name of Jesus. That we thank you, we worship you because you have answered. Thank you because you are the Lord that answered by fire. We say may your name be praised, Lord. Glory and adoration be unto your name. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. I seize this opportunity to tell you, Bia, that RTM is there for you at all times. Please stay tuned. Connect with every program that is going on on this channel. And as you do that, may the Lord bless you, Regu, in Jesus' name. Amen.